More than 80 animals found neglected and starving. Dozens of horses found dead at a self-proclaimed North Texas animal sanctuary. Rescuers, in fact, tonight describing horrific conditions. This is in Van Zant County, just east of Dallas. Thank you for being with us at 10. I'm Doug Dunbar. And I'm Kaylee O'Kelly. That raid happened near the city of Canton, about an hour's drive east of Dallas. Our Andrea Lucia live tonight at the SPCA of Texas in Dallas, which organized that rescue. Andrea? Uh, hey guys, the SPCA investigators working alongside Van Zant County law enforcement today sees 87 animals, a number that does not include the many horses it was too late to save. In pictures provided by the SPCA of Texas, horses' ribs and spines are easily visible. Their food bowls sit empty. Those horses did not have any food and little to no water. SPCA spokesperson Maura Davies says investigators noted the horses were so hungry they were chewing away at nearby trees. They had not only begun, but they had made a significant dent in eating all of the bark off of most of the trees that they could reach in certain areas. The SPCA seized in all 70 horses, nine donkeys, six pigs, and a longhorn. But the most disturbing discovery is one we can't show on TV. The corpses of an estimated 50 horses in various states of decay. The fact that they were all apparently dragged to the back of the property and deposited in a creek bed and left to decompose. The SBCA says it first received a report of neglected animals at the Over the Moon Sanctuary on March 3rd and was working with the owners to improve conditions. At that time, we were completely unaware of any deceased horses. Uh, the owners only let us on the front part of the property. A report of dead horses weeks later prompted the SPCA to seek a court order allowing today's seizure. Yeah, there were no arrests today, but the SPCA says it is cooperating with a law enforcement investigation that it hopes will eventually bring criminal charges. It will ask a judge next week to grant it uh, full custody of all the animals seized today, and it is already working to rehabilitate them. It hopes it will be able to adopt them all out at some point. Reporting live in Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Boy, on Facebook Live, if that's any measure, there are a lot of people who do want to help. Thank you very much, Andrea.